Hey y'all, coming to you from uh, Shades of the Past, and uh, I got a 55 Ford street ride pickup truck that is just way bad. I mean, it is, you know, I always say the coolest, I hate to say the coolest because I look at so many cool cars every day and I never want to offend anybody, but I've really fallen in love with this truck. I mean, I just think it is one bad street ride. So, um, Roger owns it, let me run him down and get him to tell us a little bit about it. Roger, how are you, brother? Scotty, how you doing today? Oh, I'm standing a little hot. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's been warm today. It's so a great we, show. Yeah, it is a great show. It's a great show. You, did you hear how many cars are here? I really have not. I first heard somebody time. say 5,800. Does that sound about right? That sounds about right. It's right. a first, ton. first time here, and it's pretty awesome. Yeah. So but out of but out of all those, this truck is one of the one of the things that just blew my mind. I mean, I absolutely love your truck. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, I bought the truck in 1990, and and. Uh, built it to drive and, and then in 2000 I came to the F100 show. In 2001 I drove the truck down and I saw the upper end vehicles and I decided at that point that uh, I wanted to redo it and try to bring it up a level. In order to do that I, I realized I was going to have to have a painter, a poster guy and have some fabrication done on the frame and chassis and engine wiring etc. So I found three, three uh, folks that to do that for me and so I took the truck apart and did a lot of the basic stuff myself some of the grunt work I call it but uh, it took about eight and a half years to do it and I I bought pieces just about every week had a vision game plan uh, an idea of what I wanted to do with the truck and so um, I just sold chassis I had and took my body off of it had a no stock frame in the back yard and, and boxed it in uh, ground all the welds down and just started started back with I bought a height super ride Mustang 2 front end okay. bought their four link system uh, went to a salvage yard in Kansas City Missouri on the other side of the state and uh, this particular engine's 4.6 liter 32 valve builder and cam I saw one in a in a in a in a 95 Mark 8 that I really liked I love the tubal intake on it kind of unique and so uh, that's what I went after Bought that, bought the transmission, the computer, and the uh, warning harness, and then uh, contact Street Performance. Uh, they uh, polished the transmission case for me, and then a gentleman by the name of Rick Berry, who at one time worked for Street Performance, uh, streamlined the warning harness for me. I uh, had uh, a guy uh, take the coating off of the valve covers, the intake, and uh, it's an all aluminum engine. So he polished out the valve covers, polished the intake for me. And then I just started doing some custom pieces. I moved the coil packs from the front to the back. And uh, well, let's do this. Let, the open the hood and let's look and tell okay. me. You can point out what you've done to that. Because <coughs> I think that's best. That way people can see what we're talking about. Yeah, how cool is that? Oh man. To support the hood. Holy smokes. To keep the wind uh, from catching it. Right. And so you can see, Scotty, the, the detailed work that uh, I've done. And a friend of mine that uh, uh, is a machinist that uh, made the valve cover, I mean, the uh, wiring harness covers for me. There is no wire. So I, I had oh, I got you on that side. Yeah. Had They're over on this side too. You just can't see them. He's talking about to cover up this, the spark plugs right. that go on top of the valve yes, covers. Spark cup wires. Right. Arizona Street Rods took a piece of exhaust pipe and uh, made my air intake. Oh, wow. And I took the uh, generator and polished it, you know, the timing chain cover. That's How's that a generator and alternator? Alternator. Alternator. I'm sorry, alternator. No, that's all right. And uh, polished it out, polished it. Now, is that the stock location of that old Yes, sir, it is. Okay, because it looks custom sitting yeah. down in there, tucked yeah. in there. Yeah, it's all, it's basically a stock engine. Uh, had low miles on it, and uh, I just dressed it up. Yeah, no, you did a beautiful job. So this was all a vision in your head. The paint scheme came from a 57 Ford retractable hardtop. When I was a kid, first one I ever saw was black over red. Right. It had the gold uh, Ford emblems down the side. So I always had that back in my mind, and I saw uh, that the two-tone trucks were kind of catching on a little bit, so I opted to go with that paint scheme. Cool. It turned out to be 
people like it. Yeah, oh, I love it. And I love what you did with the hood. Thank you. Yeah. Now, did you chop it at all? It doesn't look like no, it is, no? I top. I uh, did tilt the bed. Yeah, yeah. Can you make that tilt? I can. First of all, let me show them this. Look at this plexiglass, huh? Look at how beautiful that is under there. Boral exhaust. The rear end's all painted and polished. I plated the 9 inch boards. It's got 373 gears in it. I plated that. We took a two and a half inch uh, stainless exhaust tubing, had it mandrel bent, and polished them out. Dude, how long did it take you to do this? It took me eight and a half years. Holy eight, smokes. Eight and a half years to get it done. Man. Dude, kudos though. I mean, really, 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 you hit a home run with this thing, man. If you're going to spend eight and a half years of your life doing something, thank goodness it turned out looking like this. That's in case he wants to go to Home Depot and haul some mulch. Man, look how beautiful that is. See, you all know, now you can see why I, I'm losing my mind. And poor Roger, I've been chasing you since, what, about 11 o'clock today? Believe so. Making sure, Make don't leave me now, yep. don't forget yes. me, don't That's leave me. That's about right, Scott. I got to get this truck, because it is just gorgeous, man. Now, who did the paint work for you? John's Auto Body and Paint in Imperial, Missouri. And what's the color, the red? Well, it's a, uh, it's a DuPont paint. Um, what we did was take uh, some red swatches and uh, about four or five variations of red shades. And so he mixed a couple combinations to get that tint I wanted to color. And then the black, which is also DuPont, this was John's idea. John said, won't we, won't we put a little bit of red flake in it? And, um, and we did, and boy, it just really gave it a fine little touch. It's kind of amazing. It's the women who usually notice the red flake in the in the black. I more, can't notice more, it. More so than the men do. I must be colorblind to it. When the, when the light hits it the right way, then you, then you, can, you can see it. Man, a lot. No, I see it up there on the bed now. There yeah, you're right. Oh, that is cool. Another feature on the Scotty that I think is pretty cool is, is the grill. And, um, it's a custom piece that uh, a friend of mine, by the name of Terry Hall, he had a body shop in Russell, well, he still has a body shop in Russell, Russellville, Arkansas. Terry uh, was a, a gifted individual. He uh, had a 55 Ford truck himself, but he had some unique ideas. And uh, one of those ideas was a grill, and he made a bar grill out of bar aluminum bar stock, shaped it, and then made matching uh, bumper bars for it. Headlights uh, came with the signal uh, signal lights in it. What are those out of those custom? They're custom, yeah. yeah. And he just did a he just had some neat ideas, and that's one of them. Yeah. Huh. Of course, the back side has got a matching. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll put it down. Yeah, put that down. Man. I'm sorry to keep going on, folks, but, man, you gotta, you got to know that's just one cool street rod truck. Sorry about dropping the camera there, but <laughs> this one's got my attention, man. That's beautiful, man. And so it just carries the theme. Yeah. And it's and the it's details, it's you know? And the little V8 emblems in the end cap? Yeah, I had a friend um, in San Luis uh, machine those for me. And then he did the caps on the front. Wow. Well, let's look at the interior. I bet there's something there, too, isn't there? Yeah, it's... Uh, you didn't go with the old farm truck interior, you know, did you? A friend of mine by the name of Mike Roth. You know, now, I, now I'm catching that red all the time. I couldn't see it at first, but I yeah, can see it now. Watch. Hopefully some of you can get a translate watch, to the watch, camera. Get an idea. Right. It's one of them things until you see it, and then when you do see it. Once you see it, then you. Yeah, then it, then it comes then prevalent you to you. I put this. Uh, oh, cool, man. A gentleman by the name of Mike Roth has a upholstery shop in, in uh, Perryville, Missouri, just a few miles down the road from where I live. And Mike's been doing custom vehicles for 30 some years. And most of those guys are artists. And so I had some pictures and some ideas that I wanted him to try to incorporate into a, a poster scheme of some sort. And 
So especially the floor. That's kind of like the rubber mat. That originally would have come in the truck, right? Well, somewhat. So, some similarities. I mean, that's and what the, I think of. I think that's a cool idea yeah. to do it in leather, right? Yeah. And so I had him do that, and then he uh, took a little unique feature up in my headliner. I, uh, Terry Altman had a had a grill piece for his truck that was a uh, shape of a Ford emblem, hood emblem. And so I had him. Uh, he had he had an extra one, so I bought that from him, polished it, used it for a dome light. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That it's is just, just beautiful. Unique features. We uh, welded up the glove box. Yeah, he smoothed out the dash and all. Smoothed the dash. Had a friend make uh, the aluminum pieces for some trim along the dash. And just that little bit of black in there, man. Yeah. yeah just nice a touch. Little yeah. touch. Mike is, uh, like I said, he's an artist and he did a great job for me and, and developed a good friendship. So when you, uh, and John's auto body paint, when you leave with that kind of relationship, Pretty, pretty good. Yeah. It's subtly over the top. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how to, I mean, that's what I think of, because like, it's over the top, don't get me wrong. But on the other hand, it's not done with like bright, crazy colors. It's all the little details you've done to it, right? Just man. And that's, I guess, anything I can say, I'm, I am a detail guy, and, and I do have a lot of detail in it, you know, and, and that's the uniqueness I think about the truck. That right. Of people say, especially when they get to looking underneath it. Looking around it, taking the time to look at it, and they see they can see the detail. And this is one of the unique features of it. Yeah. Well, you know I gotta want it to hear it start. Can you do that for me? Sure. Disc brakes, of course, all the way around. Gorgeous truck, man. Just absolutely just one cool truck. Yeah, it's just got a it's got a mild sound to it. It's not real. It's not like a lot of these big blocks we hear going out of here and all. But yeah, it sounds so good, man. Borla, Borla exhaust at the time they were the only ones that made the stainless. And, right. And so uh, they polished. So uh, I bought them. And, and the neat thing about them, even back then, ten years ago, you can listen to them on the internet. Pick, right, pick right, the right, 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 right. So it's got a good sound. To it. Cool. Well, I'm gonna do a quick walk around on it, brother. I can't tell you how much I appreciate. First of all, you dedicate eight and a half years of your life to build this truck. Well, thank you. And uh, secondly, to give me the time tonight to shoot it. Well, it's an honor to be, to be, uh, be shot. The pleasure's all mine, brother. Man, look at that truck. Folks, I hope you've enjoyed it. Roger, again, thank you so much, brother. Sure. Thank you very much, sir. It's yeah, thank you. Thank honor you. to meet you, and thank you. No, it's honor to meet you, brother. Thank, thank you. you so much. And again, thanks for taking the time to build it. Yeah. Folks, there you go. One cool street ride from the Shades of the Past Ride Run 2012. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya.